Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Tony with La Lita Loca. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm currently on the spectrum of the seas in the East China Sea, making my way back to Shanghai, China. But today I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the challenges that Carnival Cruise Line is having. If you've been tracking the environmental issues with Carnival, you know that in 2016 they were slapped with a five-year probation for environmental crimes. Just this year, 2019, Carnival called back into court to answer for probation violations, so not holding up their end of the bargain, and they were fined an additional $20 million for not sticking to the probation agreement that they had agreed to back in 2016. Now just this past week Carnival had to make another court appearance to check up on how they've been doing since they went to court earlier this year and the judge Patricia Seitz who's been handling the case well let's just say she was not pleased. She's not pleased with the amount of time it's taking Carnival to ramp up their new conservation efforts. She said it's not happening fast enough more should be done at this point both Carnival Chairman Mickey Arison and CEO Donald Arnold were in court to answer the judge saying that with a company the size and the fleet the size that they have, it takes a little time to make change. 120,000 employees and well over 100 cruise ships across nine cruise lines, the change just does not happen that quickly. In an interesting development since the last time we looked at this case, federal prosecutors are asking Carnival Corporation, hey, what do you do with the 50 million bottles that you consume every year, the plastic bottles, what do you do with them? And Carnival's answer, none too satisfying for the government. They say they don't keep a strict accounting of how they dispose of those over 50 million, estimated 50 million plastic bottles, but they do use over 700 different recycle areas at the different ports they go to. So their answer is they recycle those bottles, but there's not an accounting for that. The government's pressing hard for better accounting for those plastic bottles. The prosecutor saying without that documentation, how do we know you're not just dumping them in the ocean? It's one of those deals. Once you get on the radar of the government, you're kind of stuck. Look, Carnival is in the crosshairs of the government around these environmental issues and they will be coming back to court a couple times a year until they give satisfactory answers. It's gotta be a challenge for a large corporation like this to pull it all together, but the government continues to ask questions, hard questions, and sometimes Carnival is not able to find the answer. Now, big development this past week, NCL said they will be doing away with all single-use plastics. This includes plastic bottles, and Carnival also released a press statement saying that they will be working on a way to get rid of all plastic bottles. The timing's super interesting, right? If you're trying to answer the question, what do we do with the estimated 50 million bottles that we have on board? The easiest way to answer that question is to say we don't use plastic bottles on board. So that's what we see. That's what we see Carnival moving toward. The thing that always comes to mind when I hear these stories is how affected am I by the environmental policies of the companies that I use? Will this keep me from cruising on Carnival Cruise Line? Do all cruise lines have this problem? I know cruise lines have a bad rap in the environmental space and I believe that's why you see a lot of them trying to step up their environmental game. Would this keep you from cruising on Carnival? Would this make you look for a more environmentally friendly cruise line? Leave a comment below. Let's continue the conversation. That's some of the latest cruise news. This is Tony for La Lita Loca. Make sure you subscribe for all of our latest content. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.